In this bracket challenge, our head-to-head -head is the TaylorMade Stealth Plus versus the Mizuno STZ. These two are going head-to-head -to, -head to find out which driver is moving on in our bracket to find the best driver of 2022. What's up everybody, welcome back to New Nine Golf. The Stealth versus the STZ. I'm very familiar with the TaylorMade lineup, have already done my full review of the Stealth lineup plus the prelims to narrow down why I'm hitting the Stealth Plus. The Mizuno, on the other hand, the STZ is a brand new driver to me. To be honest, this was the last driver to show up in the fitting facility. It's so hard to get our hands on and finally we have it to complete this first step in our first bracket the Stealth versus the Mizuno. What we know about both of these drivers is they are both low spinning. The biggest difference in the Stealth is that it has the movable weight system where the Mizuno, the weight is at the back. This is interesting to me because almost all of the new low spin drivers have the weight at the front. We're gonna find out which driver gets me the better total distance as well as an accurate driver. If you haven't seen any of our bracket challenge, the way we determine the winner is the total distance minus the average yards offline. I'm gonna get 10 good hits of both the Stealth and the STZ to find our winner to see which one of these is moving on. Up first is gonna be the Mizuno. So let's go to the mat and I'll tell you more about what I see. For this driver challenge and all of the drivers we're using stock options. Something really cool about the Mizuno is they give you 23 stock shaft options. In all of our driver bracket challenge, we're using the stock options and a very common shaft that I've been using in other manufacturers is the Hazardous Smoke RDX in a 6.5 flex, which is exactly what this shaft is. Being that this is the first time I've even held the STZ, I think visually, it's the best aesthetically pleasing driver of 2022. The only color on this is kind of just three or four very small lines of blue. So for someone that likes very neutral colors, the blacks, the carbons, a little bit of silver, and just the slightest bit of blue, visually, I think this thing looks awesome. And that's comparing it to everything. Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cobra. Out of everything, I think this looks awesome, but in this bracket challenge, it means nothing what it looks like because we're down to distance and accuracy. Let's give this thing 10 good hits to collect our data. And time lapse. My swing feels funny right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why my swing feels funny. Can the audience at home tell that I have little golf clubs and golf carts and golf stuff on my shirt? Because I wore it just for them. So I was thinking about this the other day. What's the best golf movie of all time? I grew up under the Happy Gilmore era, but it wasn't until later in life I started to understand Caddyshack. So if I had to pick, those are my two favorites. I wonder what you guys would pick. Should be one more. This should be the final hit. Make it count. Distance and accuracy. Happens to be my middle name. Brandon Distance Accuracy, Cubit. And if you don't know, now you know. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's our hits with the Mizuno. Felt pretty good, looked really good. Based on the numbers though, and knowing what's moved on in other brackets, didn't like really wow me. I think it looks awesome. And the fact that you get, how many shafts did I say? 23 shaft options, that's awesome. Looking at the averages, average carry 294, average total 323. Pretty legit numbers. It's definitely in the same realm as the big guys, right? Now we're gonna hit the TaylorMade. Before I go through all of the shot data on the Mizuno, we're gonna hit the TaylorMade and then do the head to head. Whoops. <laughs> to find out what driver is moving on. So let's go at the TaylorMade. So the TaylorMade, the TaylorMade, the TaylorMade Stealth really needs no introduction. Probably the most talked about driver of 2022. It's got the carbon face. So did we find out that that does a ton? Well, I guess we'll find out. I got it dialed down two degrees, which was the same setting that I had the Mizuno on, the same shaft, the hazardous uh, smoke. RDX, so the shafts are the same, it's really just the heads that's changed. And 
overall, like personally, I think it looks decent. I would love to play around with the customization and maybe change the color of the face or the accents, but to like spend whatever it is, 150 bucks to change that, probably not. Um, let's give it some hits and we'll see how it compares. So long, sucker. I think to, don't quote me, but I think the TaylorMade's a half inch longer. Just in holding it, it feels longer. And I'm sure that's where I'm getting some more speed from. Way hotter though, hey? Like I'm constantly in 170 ballpark ball speed. If any of you guys are watching this and being like, wow, a 330 cut where we are in Calgary, Alberta, it's like 3,300 feet elevation. So don't hate me because on uh, these numbers have elevation involved. So the data that we're getting everything on is the TrackMan. We're also using an RCT Pro V1 ball, which is specific for TrackMan. And that's what we're using to get all of our data. I would totally game the stealth. Yep, hundo percent I would game this. Yeah, I've always been a, a tailor-made woods guy, like for a long, long time. Back to like the R7 days. I had a super quad, if you guys remember that. The driver that I'm replacing is an M3, which is already like a five-year-old tailor-made, which I've loved. Oh, that's large. One more for everyone watching at home. This is the long drive hole. Kyle Berkshire taught me this. There it is, 180. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Okay. I think I already know who won, but uh, let's let the numbers do the talking. Okay, wait. I want you to do a Kyle Burke show. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Let me 122, 120 club head speed. Not quite 122. Let's see if I can get it up there. One more. Yeah, one more Kyle Berkshire. One more Kyle Berkshire. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my back out. Okay. That's what he taught me. He taught me the rock away. <sighs> Terrible smash factor. Not even close. Not even close. I think just when I catch it on the screws, the tailor made, hands down. Okay, let's go through some data here. So to keep everything fair, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh no, we got 12 of each, right? We already deleted some ones that we weren't too happy with. Let's start with the averages of the Mizuno. Average carry, 297. Average total, 323. Stealth Plus, average carry, 302 with a 333 total. Now we're gonna do some math to find the total yards offline to subtract that from our average totals. Give us a second to do some math and we'll tell you who won this bracket. Okay guys, so we took a look at all of the numbers and collected all of the data. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys and let you know that this wasn't my best bay session. That my dispersion wasn't amazing and maybe I was just feeling a bit off, but both of these drivers look amazing. They both felt really good. The TaylorMade, I love that you can customize this, that you can change this to any color that you want. And the Mizuno looks so clean. Like it looks really good and I think it's my favorite visual driver of all of 2022. Remember, the way that we calculate the winner is the total yardage subtracted by the average offline. Let's start with the Mizuno because I hit that first. The total number with distance minus yards offline is 294.63. The TaylorMade comes in at 299.96, so a difference of just over five yards. I'm really surprised how close that head-to-head -head was. 
Having never hit the Mizuno and knowing a lot about TaylorMade and hitting TaylorMade for years, I thought TaylorMade was gonna blow it out of the water. Very, very close head to head. If you haven't hit the Mizuno, the STZ220, I 100% recommend you put it in your hands, give it a try. The TaylorMade is moving on, going into the semifinals. Can't wait to wrap that up. If you guys haven't already, smash subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see when their next videos come out. We're getting so much closer to our final to find the best driver of 2022. Thank you so much for all of your guys' support and we'll check in with you next time.